my name is David Kamanzi and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about pressure and pressure is good can be good and not bad and some of uh, my the steps I would like to share with you is uh, pushed me to think for solutions it pushed me to think for solutions in where I was, I, I needed to come up with solutions to make sure that I, 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 I provide, I hit the target and caused me to grow. I, I, I saw my growth and it excited me in business uh, because uh, then in, the, in my bottle business, I needed more bottles, I realized this lady was asking me to give the first step was I needed to provide to give her a hundred bottles each day and then her business was growing which caused my business also to grow and she wanted then to uh, to to give each day 500 business and so I was under pressure I tried each day to provide 500 business but many times I would correct a few 300 or 250 and then I realized I had to think and then I realized that I needed to get a few people to help me and then I talked to the boys on the street and said hey I need your help I need to uh, hit the target 500 bottles each day and if each can correct 500 uh, 100 each then we will ha hit the target and so the boys agreed and uh, we agreed on the price I was going to pay them and so each day we made sure that each corrected 100 bottles and um, and so I we tried to look for places hotels uh, all these places that uh, people were using uh, this uh, water and so we talked to them talked to the hotel said if you finish using the, the water please put the bottles on the side will come and correct them so we made sure we were under pressure this lady called us each time I need my customers I'm getting customers every day and so uh, I need bottles I need you to bring bottles as we were under pressure but it was exciting it made us work so hard so we made sure that each uh, 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 corrected the bottles and every evening would sit together and encourage ourselves and I excited my boys so each time we corrected the bottles and 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 and, and then and my business grew you know, it made men share business grew and mine also grew. So because I could um, correct all these bottles, could give her the 500 bottles and she paid me each time because um, she relied on my, uh, on my help. She relied on me for containers and I, and I, I worked very hard to satisfy uh, her, her demands. Again, I would like to give you a small background of this other business I came to, um, to, to go into, which was the business. I, a friend helped me to start a trans, business transportation and uh, I, I, trans, I drop children to school, I, I drop people, I pick people all from the airport and drop them and, and, and then I came to fall into a deal. This guy, the UN, wanted me to take the sick people from the refugee camp to the hospital. So that was a deal, but also gave me pressure because uh, they called me and they wanted me to check, they wanted to check the car and they wanted to look at my tires and my service and all these things. And then, but um, they said, Oh, we're sorry. We're not going to give you this deal because you don't have good tires. You have not done the service. And then I was under pressure. But this time I realized, oh, this friend who helped me could help me with some money to buy uh, tires. And then I tried to call my friend and say, hey, I have a deal. 
uh, but my tires are bad. Could you help me uh, put the tires on my car? And I was, my friend said, I'm sorry, this time I will not help you. So, boy, I was squeezed in the corner because I was going to lose this business. I almost lost it. And because this guy was not helping and so I had no solution. And then, again, I had to think. I'm out of business. I'm out of, uh, uh, I've lost the deal. So I had to think. And so each time I dropped the, the children at school, I realized, boy, I need to, uh, I, I had an envelope idea. So I bought some envelopes and I said, I am going to put aside some money each time. And this money is going to help me each time when I don't have money for my tires, for the business. So because I was under pressure, I don't want each time I am called to, to deliver people or to do any business, I did not want to have an excuse or to think about someone that could rescue me out of this situation. So I had to save. So pressure taught me how to save a little bit for my business. So I put aside some money for my business. And, and, and so recently, uh, my friends were coming and they called me and said, hey, would you want to come uh, to dr and drive us? And I realized I had, you know, to fix, I had my tires now fixed and everything. And I could do the business and I could come and drive them. And so pressure many times will uh, help you uh, to think. It will help you to think. It will give you, or oh, then you come up with solution. How do I come out of this? And so, dear viewers, pressures. The topic today was the pressures we get in business. Because many times, pressures will be good. They will help us to grow. They will help us to come up with solutions. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for listening to me. Topic or topic today, what pressures will help you to grow. It will help you to think. So they helped me. They can help you.